povo que eu chego Não me tenha sal sereno Cause I'll be back in my bed someday Unbelievable! Music, rhythm, improvisation. Today we connect with La Cris, a master musical artisan and improviser, to explore how improvisation can benefit our lives, take us to new horizons. She's gonna perform during the show and help us see how every little object around us can be the beginning of something amazing. Let's go beyond with La Cris. Valentino, where are you? Do you copy? Um, uh, sorry, I'm busy. Reply, I cannot go back now, sorry. Let's go, Valentino. Um, I got something to do. Where have you gone? Um, I repeat. Well, uh, I just... because, uh... Come back, Valentino. I wanna go beyond I wanna go beyond I wanna go beyond I wanna go beyond Fantastic! Oh, amazing! Ah, that is Lacris, ladies and gentlemen, the super musical artisan and the super trans juggler that joins us today connecting to the spacecraft. Lacris, thank you so much for connecting to the Volantino spacecraft. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> oh, oh, this is amazing. I mean, I really, because Today's episode is about improvisation, one of my most favorite topics. And for me, La Cris represents so perfectly the magic and the infinite possibilities of improvisation. Absolutely stunning, this improvisation that uh, you've done to begin this episode. I'm so excited. All right, so uh, La Cris, you are a true musical artisan. Let's begin from the very beginning. You are a master at improvising. Let's begin with what music represents for you. What is music for you? Sure. Well, we could say that we could not exist without music because everything is connection and we are always related to one another. You know, if you can get a bit closer to the microphone, maybe. Yeah. I can. Yeah. Yeah, I can also adjust a little bit the 
Yeah, um, just uh, just a little bit. Yeah, we are improvised. Everything is improvised in this chapter. Uh, yeah, maybe. good. So yeah, we so if we think about music, all the elements doesn't don't exist without each other. Mm -hmm. So I come from my mom. You also come from yours, and music to me is like glasses that allow me to yeah to to participate in life because you know even the most we could say not important thing matters and music and silence it all belongs to everything so to me music is belonging and is listening to everything that's around us and to me, we could also say that is my way to be a political being from the heart and to express myself and to explore everything. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's almost like the, the, the essence of life itself. Yeah. And, and it's to me a way like, how can we, can we include like the shit things that happens to us. That's very good, right? I mean, the good and the bad, the bright and the dark. Yeah, that, that's beautiful. And, and you know, improvisation. For mm -hmm. me, improvisation is freedom. Uh, I, I would like us to take this episode. Uh, a lot of people are suffering in the world today. And for me, improvisation has a lot of benefits. Benefits to the spirit, benefits to the soul, uh, the benefits of expanding your horizons, of finding your own personal freedom. Uh, could you tell us a bit, when you improvise, and you're so good at improvising, what is, how is the process of improvising? What do you do? How do you do it? Guide us a little bit uh, about your process. Yeah, I, I always like to talk about process, because when we see some somebody doing something, it's like, but how does that person has arrived there? And it's like, how are we talking now? You told me, okay, I would like to do this. And I said, wow, that would be great. But then we meet and we don't know what's going to happen. It's like, you have an intention. I have mine, but we don't really know what we're going to be talking about. So, so to me, improvisation is like, how do I feel now, right now? Because... Mm -hmm. Is is truly it, the present? Is is in this in this sense? Do you connect it to mindfulness? To I mean, being on the present moment. Yeah, you know, my grandfather and my grandmother they didn't know anything about mindfulness, but they knew that they had to be working on the fields or taking care of the farm. So it's really you just have to be where you are and doing something that sometimes in school we're not so used and is just there to say what is in you alive right now like don't judge don't mm. be your sense sensor like don't cut yourself your wings you know, it's like, just go. It's like when you play, you don't think about, it's, is it good? Is it bad? It's, you just go. You give yourself this, away. This is so and, good what you are saying. Because that, it's is, about... that is so difficult, you know, because yes. we're taught to just do good things. And it's like, but what is good? It's like... Yeah, it's the fear. It's the fear. We are, I mean, this is so connected, as you say, to judge, to judging, to fear. We are fearful we're scared of saying the wrong thing of doing the wrong thing of what other people are gonna think about us so we have to jump into the swimming pool we have to let ourselves go and and the people that are listening to us now most people are scared of doing that so what can you tell us about how do you face that fear what do people have to do to go beyond beyond the fear to just let yourself go into the present moment hmm. well first thing that i can say is that i also feel fear mm -hmm. i i accept that 
but I love the feeling. You know, it's like I can tell that my blood is. <laughs> yeah. And I love that sensation. And I also know that maybe other people mm. haven't had the that security space. So it is really important for everyone to know, okay, to allow that question, is is this what I need to do? Because sometimes we feel, okay, I would love to do that, but maybe it's not that moment. Mm -hmm. So to allow, no, okay, no, I don't want to do this. But if you feel, wow, I would love to try, is it's so easy. Just if you're cooking, try to do a rhyme with what you're cooking. Imagine Zoom. onions. <coughs> I'm here with onions. <coughs> I don't know what to say, but I'm cutting onions. <coughs> it's just you go. Yeah. It's like when you meet with a friend, you are not expecting anything. You just go and because you want to see that person because that person awakes your love. So is they say, or is it said that there are two things in life, fear or love? So of course we need to go and feel that fear and know that there's something else because yeah there's everything is here it's not about yeah i will reach that point is no what do you feel now and what can you do now with that and to me improvisation is like making a gift you know when i make a present to a friend i'm trying to imagine how will that person feel so i try to focus on that energy and that emotion like That's how can one. i do this like a special moment and i don't have to be perfect i just have to yeah connect and this be is, honest this is so beautiful what you say because i have also found that energy that you're talking about when you really improvise when you let yourself go in the present moment it's almost like you tap into some limitless boundless energy that almost takes control of you. It's almost like you are tapping into some universal layer, some universal energy that is there permeating everything. And you tap into it and, and it just takes you somewhere. You know, yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, what is not energy? Everything is energy and That's everything right. is universal because we are here and we belong to this. You know, yeah. right. Every, everything is energy. And, and you talked about, you're talking about the opposite of control. A lot of people want to control life. They want to what? control their actions. They want to control what happens around. But isn't it true? We cannot really control anything, right? Yeah, but it's so hard to... It's hard. Okay, I don't want to control that. It's like, okay, yeah, I want to... If I do music, I want to feel that what I'm doing it makes me feel good. But I cannot control that what I do makes other people feel good. So control is in a way uh, useful, mm -hmm. but we need to forget about that if we really want to express ourselves. Because the thing is, what can I really control? Well, I can make some decisions like, okay, I'm going to connect with you. I'm, we said we're going to be here. Okay. That, I, that can I control, but I cannot control if you know, a plane comes here or a bird comes. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. How can I include and interact with what is happening now? Yeah, you are you are connecting with what we've talked about many times. That is the again the the analytical thinking and creative thinking. We need both of them. We need a good balance between both of them. We need to be able to plan, to organize, and that is the control part. But then, once we have uh, organized ourselves, planned ourselves, learned our skills, prepared the things, 
then is the moment to let ourselves go, to let our subconscious, to let our entire being just just execute uh, all that magic that is in that is inside of us. Exactly, it's a bit that that combination. So people that are listening to us, people that are not used to improvise, uh, if they asked you because you are a master improviser, if they ask you for advice, they want to start, they want to begin little by little to add more freedom, more improvisation into their lives. Um, how, can they, how can they start to do that uh, with music, for example, or other things? What do you think? Hmm. Um, there is a great, great, great musician that wrote this book, The Music Lesson. That is something that it's a really mm, easy book, I would say. You don't need to have mm, expertise knowledge. You just can read it. My mom can read it, you know, it's an easy thing. So in that book, there are a lot of things that have influenced me. Beautiful. And if you want to do music, it's because you've seen other people doing music and that mm, impact you so if you want to do music or if you want to speak another language you need to surround yourself with that because we learn by mirroring each other mm -hmm. it's not that you have to invent anything so first of all you need to relax mm -hmm. because if you want to improvise it's like when you kiss someone you need to connect with yeah. what you feel you can know the theory in inside the keys and yeah you need the leaps of course we need the structure but then you really need to trust that your body and your yes. thoughts and your feelings are gonna guide you this is and so important trust you just said trust this is so important the only way to improvise is to improvise is to trust Trust yourself, trust the universe, trust everything, right? Yeah, but that trust and confidence comes when you're surrounded by that things that remind you, okay, this is what I want to do. So if you want to improvise, you need to kind of build up that vocabulary. And that vocabulary is that how have we learned to talk? because other people were masters in this language there is this an, another book you know i'm a book lover fluent forever okay in, so so the previous one because we're gonna write this in the description of the video also the first one was called the music lesson the music lesson and this one this is fluent forever fluent and forever. it talks about how to learn a language and never forgetting it and it says even the the silliest People, person can learn a language, <laughs> you know, you, because we all speak our mother tongue, right? So that structure comes by listening. So if you want to, for example, you love rock music, then go to the fountain, go to listen to ACDC, Led Zeppelin, Nirvana, and eventually go beyond because music has words but also has sound and sound is vibration so you need to go where your body's feeling wow i i'm feeling great here so you need to go where you feel great that's so good i love neo soul so I would go to pick some harmonies that go into that neo soul jazz. But if I want to go, for example, into more folk, folk music, then I have to learn the basics. Right? I need to know how a jota sounds like. The I need basics. to know how yes. a seguirilla. So you go to the smallest, because if you start small, that will create like the ground so you need to first understand the the the, the basics right of, of each thing but it's not about understanding it's about feeling is when we're yeah. kids we we play it's not about okay. so you need to have fun and <sighs> you cannot force 
that you need to really be surrounded or create your spaceship like you you are <laughs> in the spaceship where you can play the environment where we play exactly and, and we want to see your guadalupe tell tell the audiences who is guadalupe show us guadalupe how does it work how do you actually do it yes yeah. give us a little tour how does it work yeah. So I'm going to do this. Um, first of all, you need the void space. <laughs> yes. And so we have the microphone that is connected to this loop station. I call her Guadalupe. There are different models. The most important thing is imagination is everything. So I, we're going to use this sound, for example, that everyone can do or or we're going to do this. Perfect. Right? So we're going to start with a beat. And I press this and it's like. So we have two sounds, the low and the high. Then we can add some flavor with a kick drum with beatbox. So that is, that has add like the low frequency. That would be like the kick drum. And then we can add this, for example. So I created some harmony here with this arpeggio. Fantastic. And then we can add a bass sound, for example. So we have hear different elements. It will be like ingredients. We have this sound, we have a, this one, and we have a, this one. We can isolate all of them and then we have the bass. So what the loop station or what the loop shows us and teaches us is you need to know the different elements separately and then combine them. Mm. So you can, it's like, yeah, you can do rice, but then if you add some curcuma, it gives another color. So yes. you need to focus when we listen to music, it's like, okay, what's the drummer doing? For example, we will rock you, right? Yeah. So how can I do this with my mouth? Okay, there's this bass sound and then the snare. Okay, but then there's the we will, we will rock, rock you. So we need to use this analytical mind, of yeah, course. Yeah, exactly. But then how can we transform that so that it makes you feel good? And sometimes we're going to feel good because life is brr, chaos yeah but we need to flow in a way because yeah that, that's beautiful and now that we live in times of uncertainty with the uh, covid and everything uh, is is you know a, a better opportunity than ever to learn to accept uncertainty right and improvisation is accepting uncertainty thriving in uncertainty uh, uh, you know shining in uncertainty uh, so that the benefits to our health to our mental health of improvisation are huge yeah and we we're always improvising you know when we go into the street and a car comes you cannot control that but you can choose make the decision okay do i stop do i go do i turn what do i do yeah, so totally. And 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 another thing that I really, really like about like Chris is that you, I mean, you sing in the streets many times. You have traveled to places like Africa and and got in touch with really interesting communities. Uh, tell us a little bit about, for example, your experience in Africa, uh, in the, uh, playing music in the streets. The, the the magic that arises from nowhere when you meet people unexpectedly when you interact in situations that are that are completely surprising tell us a little bit about this yeah well it's important to say that i come from this school background right and we create always these environments in which everything is a safe space mm -hmm. nobody's gonna 
interrupt you in a way. Maybe eventually one day a mobile phone rings when you're playing, but that's that's not a big thing. So I remember looking to street performers and thinking, wow, how do they do that? And how do they dare to just show up and be there? So to me, that was like a good virus, you know, like that became a thought like, wow, how would that feel? So when I was living in Barcelona, there was, and there is this association of um, metro subway musicians. Mm -hmm. So I, su I submitted and I did the casting and they accepted me. And I had to put like all the um, set up instruments together because there is no electricity. Oh, yeah. So you need that unless you do something more acoustic. And yeah, being in the street or in the subway is the huge, is, is the largest stage ever because <laughs> there, there, there's exactly. always someone there. And, and, and how is it the interaction when you're trying to improvise and all these people appear from nowhere? Uh, what is that communication in that process? <laughs> it's, it's just crazy because you see a lot of things and first thing musicians we like to be heard right yeah. and in the street sometimes that cannot happen because people are just passing by mm -hmm. and you need to okay reconnect with yourself and ask that question why am i here am i expecting to be recognized or am I here to I don't know so you need to figure out in that present moment a lot of things <laughs> or sometimes someone this asks is, this is very what, interesting. Do, what do you do if someone steals you and I'm like I don't know I don't know it's like I cannot think about everything if that happens Let's see, how do I act or react? This is very interesting. So you are saying that you discover a lot of things about yourself when you expose and open yourself to whatever happens, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is, I, I love Bobby McFerrin. Mm -hmm. He is to me like one of my, he's, great. he's like a lighthouse for me. And he always says that he starts every single concert by improv improvising because mm. for him is like the test like how how am i right now how is my my voice how is my body how is my mindset now so it is like a x-ray for you to okay maybe now i'm a little bit tired so maybe i don't go to that place because that will require a lot of energy or that will require support so always when you improvise you need you need to be kind to yourself but also taking risk so it is this balance that when you're in the street you are just with all your doors open and yeah it's this is, you are in touch with your vulner, vulnerability. This is and beautiful. sometimes you're just weak or fragile. And yeah, you need to accept and acknowledge that because when you see someone in that place, you are like, okay, I, I know that. I cannot do anything to help you, but maybe I can tell you, okay, I know that place. This is so beautiful. I mean, you, you've said... Uh, yeah. No, no, finish, finish. No, when you change countries or cultures, when I was in Ghana, you, you, you realize how, wow, we're very different, but at the same time, we're so similar in the emotional space because we all need to be loved, <laughs> right? And music well 
it depends on what your focus on music is but if you use focus to if you do if you need music to put people together and to feel together it doesn't matter if you're in ghana or if you're in new zealand or or if you're in a small village that you just because expression that is universal so really and rhythm we all like rhythm every single country has their drums or their games that we've played right like this hand or so it's go like, go play play <laughs> you know, how, how do we go to the root for example i brought this instrument yeah well, actually it's not an instrument what, what is, is that the, that's a that, nut that's a nut yeah. like me that i'm nuts yes <laughs> yeah so i met these folklorical musician called yeah. Samuela and she brought me this instrument. Wow. It's called Sarajillo. That is so, amazing. So I brought like all the steps. This is the first step. And then you need this. <laughs> wow. And then you need to cut like the bottom, right? Yeah. And then you add this little. And what do you do? Oh, wow, wow. That and is you brilliant. add like this thread. And they use it. Why did they come up with this instrument? Well, because they just had this at home. Wow. And it is like a castañuela. And then they sing different songs. Si me quieres, dímelo. Y si no, di que me vaya. No me tengas al sereno, que no soy cantaro de agua. Right? Ay, qué and... bonito, qué bonito, por favor. <laughs> This, so beautiful. Uh, my great grandfather, that is still alive, mm -hmm. uh, taught me this song. Bravo for uh, this great grandfather. Mi abuelo, mi abuelo cántanos, cántanos un poco más de que es muy bonito en español. Cántanos algo bonito en español, venga. Okay, I'm gonna transpose like this rhythm to the spoons, which is a traditional instrument. Yes, you can find it everywhere because yes. we'll have spoons, right? Yes, maybe you don't have a piano, but you have spoons. The, I mean, it's so beautiful what you're saying. Like, anybody can do music because it's not about you can create your own instruments of whatever you have, yeah, right? Because it's about how do I do something with my limitations. Mm -hmm. It's not, you need to have this to start. It's like, no, you actually, you just need to. We need in life, we need much less than we think of everything, right? Of everything. Yeah, yeah it's about unlearning, right? Yes. We used to play when we were kids with everything, with stones. Yes. And that stone yes. was your friend and that one was your dog. And it's That like, is brilliant. That is brilliant. Just like we were kids, everything... Everything was useful. Everything we could use for something. And when we become adults, it's like we need specifically this thing. We need a no. That's not right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, I I sang the first part was like the estribillo. Now I go to the like the verse. Now I go to the chorus. El yeah. <laughs> A la mancha manchera que hay mucho vino, mucho pan, mucho aceite, mucho tocino. Y si vas a la mancha no te alborotes porque estás en la tierra de Don Quijote. Que sí. Más, más, queremos más. <laughs> Very good, beautiful, beautiful. We need to come to a concert. We need to do more concerts. We need to do more concerts. It's amazing how with just two wooden spoons, right, you can make us feel, you can transport us. You can give us this energy just with two spoons. We don't need so many things in life. We, especially in the Western world, we eat too much. We have too much. We ask for too much. We just want too much. And, and what you do for me is a, a beautiful, uh, uh, is the essence of uh, going back to our roots. Right. We're going back to the essential. And I loved what you said before about the X-ray, that when we improvise, is almost like it pushes us to 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 understand where we are 
what is our center? And, and you know, when I improvise, this is so beautiful what you said, because, you know, if I'm not feeling right, if I'm not in my center, I cannot improvise. In order to improvise, I have to let myself go. I cannot be in the fear. I cannot be in the analytical mind. Then I cannot improvise. In order to improvise, I have to be in that center where there is no fear. So or, or you can use or, or you can also use the fear, mm -hmm. you know, because we cannot try to be always centered and right and shining. So it's like, okay, uh, maybe I can sing about the fear, right? Yes, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, um, I mean, improvisation can also be a way, a thera therapeutic <laughs> way. To me, it's about permission and allowing yourself to be who and where you are. Beautiful. That is really, we need to re-educate. Stevie Wonder has this, this song that, that says, Do yourself a favor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Educate your mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Be yourself together. We they ain't much time, so we don't have. We don't know how much time we have. So yeah. do yourself a favor. <laughs> <laughs> do yourself a favor, and and yeah, and and it can be therapeutical. It can. Uh, we can use the fear. We can take the fear, not run away from the fear, but take the fear as the springboard, as the root, the beginning of creativity and creation and use it as as, as, as a way to uh, get out from there with the improvisation right beautiful mm -hmm. more, more 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 show <laughs> us more what can we do show us more about i will i want to show the audience about the mechanics the mechanics because for a lot of people it's a mystery how you do what you do uh Take us, take us again into the, the, the root, the beginning, the nitty gritty of that process. So if we want to go to the root, then we need to go to the body. Because in schools, they always teach us to, to play other instruments. But what is the, what is the instrument? Mm -hmm. And that is our... Boa noite, povo que eu cheguei Mais outra vez apresentar meu vaiana Eu vou cantar com muita alegria Vou apresentar essas baianas da Maria Oh, that's beautiful. The body, the body is so beautiful what you said. This is our instrument. Many times we, I mean, we take her, we buy an instrument in a shop and we take care of it and we forget we maybe are not taking so good care of the most important instrument we have, our yeah. body, right? And our minds. Right. It's like you, you would never put juice into your car, right? You would put petrol, but we put into our body, I don't know, we'll know what we <laughs> allow our body to exactly. process. And it's like, yeah, how can I be healthier than I'm being right now? And yeah, it's like, we need to move, we need to dance. We, the more we sing, the more we dance, the happier we are. There is no doubt about that. Is this, so is the this, mechanic is this... is how can you do things with your hands or, you know, is try to make and discover sounds. This is beautiful. Is this, is this primal happiness that you're talking about? Where does this come? Is, this comes from our ancestry, uh, the first humans, right? Yeah, yeah. Because everyone can stomp their feet. It's like, you don't, you don't need Wi-Fi for that. You just clap, or you just yes, yes, right. But you need to, yeah. We have everything that we need is right here, right? We got it all, in a way. Right. And yeah. and and uh, what about conflict? When we when we find conflict in our lives, in relationships with other people, uh, how can 
um, this uh, being in the moment, this improvisation, uh, this communication help us as well? You know, I'm a practitioner of nonviolent communication, mm -hmm. and I also love to make research on different anthropological uh, viewpoints. And there are some cultures that when they have a conflict, instead of talking about that and focusing on the problem, they make up a song wow. and they, through this song, they put melody into that, what they're feeling. So it's not about what you make me, it's about what this situation makes me feel and how can I use conflict because oh we can avoid conflict, like life is about problems. We need to uh, I mean, figure out solutions. My spacecraft is going to explode. I mean, you just said something so beautiful. When we have a, imagine that everybody that had a conflict, they just created a song, like you or, said. Or a drawing, you know, you don't need to sing. It's like, or how can I put this energy not not into you but into me it's like how can i go back again and i go into myself because i want to connect with you and that is not so easy you know because we we've experienced in our families a lot of tragedies Mm -hmm. right and we haven't been exposed to um how leaders or examples or i don't know the english word like say it in spanish yeah like that reflection of responsibility towards the mirroring yourself. yeah so yeah we need it's like we need to be right now the ancestors of the future generation. Oh, that is also beautiful that you said. And, we need and, to be the ancestors of the next generations. And, and ancestrality is beautiful. It's like we are composing the music of the future now, and the music are our actions. So oh. it is like. You will never want to do to somebody what you will never like to experience, right? Are they're really simple things, common sense things, but because we are more into more technological things, and you know I love technology, but is if technology doesn't help us to reconnect with our humanity and. Mm -hmm our yeah this whole world the world is not only human there are animals there are plants there are stones minerals and i think that music can help us to listen or arts because art has this transformation power it's not about having everything perfect is how can i transform myself to go through this you know we all experience death and breakup moments and burned situations but it's like how can i again take this responsibility with joy it's a power we have beautiful beautiful is it is it uh, therefore about accepting truth our truth it doesn't matter if we're feeling good or bad if we've gone through a breakup, somebody, a loved one has died, uh, about accepting the truth of the present moment. And if we accept that truth, then we can build from there. Mm -hmm. And the truth can come from your body, our body. There is this uh, another book, the body keeps the score, like uh -huh. everything can be reflected in our body and also in our thoughts you know when i think about someone that is trying to do something bad to me i'm not talking about that person i'm talking about me of course someone can make 
something back to me but it's how can i lead and manage that uh, maybe i just have to step away from that person it's like how can we make decisions that mm -hmm. connect with our nature and our spirit being here in this earth we're in planet earth there are some universal laws. We need to eat. We need to sleep. How can we be more loving beings? It's about respect, really. It is about respect. It's it's absolutely beautiful, and it's about um, and what you do. I'm very curious to know. Already uh, arriving towards the end of our intergalactic journey, what uh, what are the next steps with what you are doing? Um, how do you see this combination of music, technology, and all the philosophy behind moving forward the next stages for you? Well, I'm I'm releasing right now my first album. I wouldn't call it an album. Oh. I in Spanish I do a wordplay. Album is disco, but I call it mordisco. The <laughs> bite. Mordisco, ladies and gentlemen, bite in Spanish. So uh, you are releasing your first Mordisco, your first album. Okay, great. Let's tell let's tell the audience uh, how is this? Uh, what is this album gonna be about, and where will people be able to find it? Um, they need to write me because I'm not sharing it in platforms oh. until now. Um, you know, there's a lot of content out there. We all. Yes create a lot, of, a lot of things and therefore there's a lot of noise and distraction. Mm -hmm. So what I'm offering is a noiseless or free noise space. I created this Ministerio de la Escucha, oh. would be like a ministry of listening. Beautiful. So, so I do meetings and people mm. come and we all listen together. So you only need these, your headphones, a Zoom account, and 57 oh, wow. minutes, more or less, to listen to it and then comment. And wow. if, if people have questions about the creative process or what made you feel or made you do this song. This is so it is like, and, and, and anybody can join? Anybody can join this? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anybody, anybody. So you will, tell us, you will tell us the link and we will put it in the description of the video, okay? Right. It's, it's an email. You just have the oh. email and you write me. I want to be in the next. And okay. yesterday I did another one. So there are a lot of ministros and ministras now in the world. <laughs> and, and, and so what do you do there? So you, you are you sing there, people do music and then people talk about it? What we do is we play the album and we listen to it together. Oh. Okay. Afterwards, we... Oh, this can... is great. I understand. Instead of the typical thing of putting your music in a big platform where, where it's not really personal, people just consume it in a non-personal way. What you are doing is you are doing personal little like get togethers with people where you share the experience of living your album. That's amazing. That's the first time I hear that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I love small things and intimate things because they actually create the memories that you will remember. Wow. When you have a lot of things, like y you consume a lot of things, but they don't really sink in. We cannot assimilate when we go very fast. And because I'm a really, I love calm. And because I'm a really fast person in other stuff is mm -hmm. like okay we need to balance again it's not about slow or fast there's no the perfect thing is like how can we create balance and to me creativity helps us to yeah in that our own way it's not that everyone has to do this it's like i love to do this so whoever resonates with that can come well, I will be there for sure. I will join for sure. I can't wait. I mean, this is such a beautiful way of, of uh, by the way, I totally resonate with, with uh, I, I can also be very accelerated myself, as you know. 
And the, but I need that other side. I need the side of the silence, of the calm and the tranquility. is is so important. It's as important as the other. So yeah, I mean, this concept, really, I want the audience to stay with this beautiful concept that you explained. We are consuming all these things in these big platforms uh, in a very detached way. Nice. We are here. And the creator is far, 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 far away, very far away. There is not really a connection. Uh, like Chris, you are doing something amazing that I haven't heard before. You are uh, uh, transforming this connection between the creator and the audience into an intimate, personal, unique, uh, uh, absolutely, uh, 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 you know, in the moment experience that... It, is going to create memories, real memories, not of your opinions on the work of somebody, but of the actual experience of living that creation with the creator himself or herself. Wow. Yeah, because my wish or what I, yeah, my will is that if I can do it, you can do it. So if we can talk about the process, maybe that, gives you the that you need to do your thing oh, yeah. it's not about look at what it's done it's like yeah, of course look at this but use it to be inspired and to know that we all are people there's no real difference even though we are so different but we need that to keep going this is amazing i mean not only they listen to you but it's a bi-directional communication. I mean, you also share the process and they get enriched with the process and they can incorporate into their lives the process. That's amazing because you cannot do that with all these other like artists that are far, far, far away. It's, wow. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we are about to land. I mean, really. It, it, I cannot wait to join your Ministerio de la Escucha and for the audience to do as well. We are going to really share it all around because uh, I think this is actually revolutionary. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. I think the way you are doing this, I think it's revolutionary. And uh, I think we have to promote, uh, we have to promote it all around the intergalactic uh, galaxy. So, uh, already landing, if you want to share with us any other musical bits uh, in, uh, in Espanol o lo que quieras, uh, eres bienvenida, uh, or, or whatever else you want to share with the audience. Vale, bueno, yo voy compartiendo todo lo que hago en redes sociales. So, I share everything I do in my social media, and it is La Cris Arts. Yes, we, we will share all of these things in also in the description of the video. Um, and uh, yeah, perfect. All right, La Cris, thank you so much for joining us today. I am full of energy. You really filled us with this magic and this energy that you have and with the potential of every little thing that we have around us from a nut to the spoons to anything else uh, to mix it with our bodies and, 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 and begin to improvise our way uh, uh, beyond the uh, fear and beyond our our obstacles and problems, right? I feel that what you're doing, Javi, is, <laughs> is great, it's crazy, it's loco, and we need that explosion of boom! I just do what I want to do, and of course, that doesn't harm anybody, but yes. I feel so honored and grateful to be here, and of course, in your planet. <laughs> Even though we come from different planets, we... <laughs> We're on the <laughs> same wave, on the same wave, different yes. planets. <laughs> no, we, I mean, I know that we both share that love for improvisation, that love for that freedom of uh, following our truth. You know, whatever yeah. our inside tell us to do, right? <laughs> Improvisation, to me, if I had to summarize, is love for life. Yes, absolutely. For me, it's freedom and love for life. Absolutely. I love, I love that you say love for life. You're right, because, you know, the happiest moments of my life are connected to this let yourself go. 
and I invite the audience as we land, approach the end of the journey to let yourself go. Just mm -hmm. let yourself go and enjoy the feeling of blending with the universe and following the example, beautiful example of La Cris and connecting with her Ministerio de la Escucha. We are going to share the links in the description of this video. Look for them because you are going to have an experience that goes way beyond of what you could experience with any other artists of these big platforms. This is really going to be something bidirectional, intimate and magical. Thank you so much, La Cris, and we will see you again very soon. Please. My pleasure. <laughs> we, we, have, we have gone back for a second because you were telling me about Canary Islands, 27 years, uh, blah, blah. Tell us a bit about this. Yeah. So I have another project called Nomadismo Artístico. And it's about going everywhere that I feel, okay, I want to be there and know the people and the nature. So I was born in the Canary Islands, but I was away for seven, 27 years. Wow. And I study astrology and there is this transit called, I don't know in English, the return of Saturn, I guess it is said. It's called El Retorno de Saturno. Sí. So it is be between 27 years and 30 when you are in between that gap of years. So I don't know, I felt I want to go there and because mm -hmm. I was born here and... Which part of Canary Islands? Which part? I was born in San Bartolomé de Tirajana. That is in Gran Canaria, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. Ah, Las Palmas, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I haven't been there. I've been to Lanzarote and to Tenerife, yeah. Yeah, I, I've been, I'm doing some research in the different islands. So far, I've been in El Hierro, La Palma, Tenerife, Gran Canaria. So this, very good. So this nomadismo artístico. Uh, so it's about letting yourself, like, feel with influences from different parts of the world? Yeah, and not really, I don't have this tourist spirit that sure. wants everything and fast is like to me the thing is how can i enter the the places like whoever lives there i try to be there and know what they eat and what their uh, are. so that's the best place if you know the people you know the place yeah enrich yourself with the truth of other communities right of other people ah. mm -hmm. yeah and to me, it's so special because you know, I've been away so many years. And to me, yeah. I, I don't know, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm enjoying it a lot. You are enjoying it a lot, right? You are re rediscovering your roots. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And people there and how they speak, they have another accent. So different to, uh, to ours, right? Yeah, and, in Canary, right? In Canary, Islands. Yeah. And their folklore and yeah, food, everything, landscapes. You know, in El Hierro, that is the smallest island in the Canary Islands. Um, I don't know how many volcanoes do you think there are in El Hierro? In Hierro, um, three. <laughs> Around eight hundred. What? Yeah. 800! Oh my god! Island is alive, as alive as we are. It's alive! El Hierro is alive! Let's go to El Hierro immediately! Closing doors! Uh, trip is about to start! Let's go to El Hierro! Wow! 800 volcanoes! By the way, I love volcanoes. Like this, some of the most special experiences in my life, I have lived in volcanoes. For example, in Stromboli volcano in Sicily, uh, island. I was in front of like 200 meters from a live eruption and I could feel the earth talking to me. I could feel the earth and myself all connected. I could feel the earth singing to me through the ash, through the fire. 
It was absolutely extraordinary. I wanted to die right there. I wanted to die and be reborn right there. <laughs> right. It's it's wild. It's wild. 800 volcanoes. I mean, I, I have to visit that. that. That's... Wow. That island is so cute because they don't have... It's really small and everything is so well taken care of. there are no there's no this massive tourist yeah and i love that because so it, it must be a bit like menorca versus mallorca yeah it doesn't have like this quick access and yeah. i love that because really we need to take care of the beautiful places we yeah, we need, we need to take care of our body and also of the body in which we live, that is Earth. Because yeah. it's the same. As it is outside, it's inside. Yeah, as it is outside, it's inside. Oh. This is so... This is so interesting because, uh, you know, I'm following a lot now. Uh, I don't know if you know Wim Hof. Yeah. You know, we hope, okay, we hope, and also Joe DeSena. Well, anyway, so all of these people have this very, very interesting principle or, or, or is connected to this thing. A lot of people think that if you think in positive, you know, you are going to start taking positive actions. But the very interesting thing is that what people are starting to find is that it may work better the opposite. If you physically right. start to do positive things, you know, with your, as you say, with your body, with, you know, like, you know, the, the famous therapy of <laughs> making yourself laugh on purpose with the diaphragm and that makes you feel better. So like that, it's so interesting, right? That as we, uh, as we take those cold showers, like the Wim Hof method, these breathing exercises, this improvisation, this playing with your body, this playing with the rhythms, as you say, this begins to change the way we think, our minds. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's funny if you eat according to the energy of the elements you're eating, that will influence your emotional yes. state. It's not, okay, I need to feel, you know, when we are bad, our emotional hunger awakes. Mm, and yes. we, we go and eat things that are attached to our memories. Okay, when I feel bad, I don't like chocolate, but I have a lot of friends. Yesterday I ate like a small or a big thing of chocolate. Yeah. It's not to be to blame, you know, but it's like, of course, because you have this association. But no, what, I mean... what if, if you open this gap and I feel bad so I need to put into my body another energy yeah and it's, it's always it's not about not eating chocolate it's about how can we treat ourselves lovingly you know with love is like this is so important what you say I mean well this again small that you said is about don't wait for your mind to change. Change your actions. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And and the and the instrument. When you talk about the instrument, you don't buy a beautiful guitar and you put all sorts of shit inside. And this is our instrument. We cannot put shit inside. You know about the topic of food is. I mean, there is so much to say. For example, I am doing right now intermittent fasting. Okay, uh, the last time I ate right now was sixteen hours ago. Okay, I've been the last 16 hours not eating. And when I was a little boy, I never had breakfast just because I didn't feel hungry in the morning. I started to feel breakfast because everybody said, oh, you need to have breakfast. This is so, so important, so important. So what people are discovering now is what we already know. We eat too much. We eat out of habit, you know? And what I have rediscovered now as an adult is that if I don't eat, for 16 hours, I'm okay. <laughs> I have the same energy. And if I feel hungry, I will eat. I'm not forcing myself to do anything. If I feel hungry, I will eat. But look, do you, I mean, do you feel like I don't have energy now? 
I haven't <laughs> eaten for 16 hours. You know, yeah. so so what we realize is that we eat too much, we have too much, we want too much, we seek too much. We need to stop and find back our truth, which is what we're talking about here. And it's beautiful what you say is we don't have to look for the thought. We have to act. And this is what Wim Hof says. This is what Joe DeSena says. This is what you say. We have to act, take actions. And when you take actions, your mind and your brain begins to change. Right. You've said everything. <laughs> <laughs> and these things that I'm saying, you are triggering them in me. <laughs> I, I say them and they are born from you, from this bidirectional communication from this improvisation we're doing here. If you were not here, I would not say this. I would say something else. And this is this is the beautiful thing when you put together people who are all letting themselves go. Yeah, right. We need to encounter each other. Yes. That's the journey in life. That's we trust, need... right? Trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, 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 if people just trusted with the responsibility, things would be so much different, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. La Cris, to learn, play a something, <laughs> sing something, to learn in, in español, lo que quieras, algo. Yeah, well, I, have, diez segundos. I have something here that I haven't, I think that you don't know. Look. It is this. <laughs> what is that? It is um, a luthier in in Barcelona made this. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. But he's a Brazilian guy, Maurilio. And it well it it copies like the mechanism of the bird. So it is like a nose whistle. You whistle and then you modulate with your mouth. Oh my God. Is that like difficult to do when, when you use it? At the beginning, it, some, it's not so natural for us to breathe out through our nose and opening our mouth. Oh. But maybe it depends, but it can take you. I've seen people like getting it in five seconds and then other people in some minutes. That is unbelievable. Uh, I mean, I have a, I mean, I'm very curious to know the luthier that created this. How, how does he, how does he design it? Yeah, look at this. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, did, did he do it like experimenting with the shapes and listening to the birds? I mean, wow, that, I'm fascinated. No, but he has a lot of different bird whistles. It's, wow. So see, so he has different ones like those for different sounds of birds and stuff. Wow, that's yeah. amazing! Imagine like a group of people, right? Like they could reproduce. Like, uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what you are really discovering for us today here, that which is unbelievable, is that music can be made. Music is everywhere. Music is everything. Everything. Wow. We don't need anything more than what we already have around us, right? Yeah. <laughs> so the next time that you eat, just play some music with your fork and yeah. your knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with, with, with anything, with anything that, 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 that we have around. Uh, and rhythm, you talked about rhythm. Rhythm is so primal, right? Rhythm is uh, uh, beginning with the heart, with a bit of the heart. Uh, uh, we are rhythm. We are. And, and I guess through our rhythm, we could probably detect uh, uh, how we're feeling. What is our rhythm? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. You have so many magical little things. It's like anytime you could just like bring out a new one, you know? It's like, wow. <laughs> So you don't have a favorite instrument, right? For you, 
everything is well but guadalupe is guadalupe guadalupe is guadalupe say that i have a favorite instrument uh -huh. and it is eh? is the voice the voice, the voice. because yeah. we don't have it and sometimes we we forget that we have a voice and the voice is is action when you say something you are creating things and each voice is unique as we are i have a very interesting question about that mm -hmm. what happens with voice when you are not feeling well when you're feeling sad when you're feeling maybe depressed or sad How do you deal with that in terms of the voice? I mean, can you use your voice to deal with those feelings? Or do those states interfere too much with the voice? Everything interferes with the voice. Mm. As you are, your voice will sound. But mm. if we follow what you said, that principle, like take action. And instead of I'm feeling depressed. Now I'm not gonna sing. It's like no, because I feel depressed. Depressed. I'm gonna sing. <laughs> I'm gonna put myself into that space. Is what church music, ritual music does. You get together and you sing together and you don't wait to be perfect. You just do what you can do mm -hmm. right now. And that I can tell you that will transform yourself it will not transform that you cannot be back with that person or you cannot mm. make that person be alive again but in a way if you sing the songs that you've sang with that person that you can relive that in a way that's beautiful that really uh, there is this saying in Spanish, quien canta su mal espanta. <laughs> so if you sing, you make your bad things go away. And there is another saying that I discovered one month ago, and, and it is, quien canta reza dos veces. Ah. It is that whoever, like if you sing, you pray twice. And I like to connect with that spiritual dim dimension of music. Is like when you sing, you are That's beautiful. going beyond. It's like your... you are going, which is the title of this podcast, you are going beyond the, the standard plane of mm. things. Oh. And it is. And it is. Uh, in, in my family, we, are, we, we all make music and I could not live without music. There is... Yeah. Yeah, there is something, there is something about music, I guess it comes from, uh, I guess in the universe, when there were no humans, when there was nobody, there was still music. There was music in the volcanoes. <laughs> there was music in the, in the formation of the planets, in the, in the asteroids crashing against the earth. There was always music way before us. It's all about vibration, frequency, and you can see that in the transits of planets, astronomy, everything is harmony. That's beautiful. There was always music and there will always be music long before, long after we are gone. The music will remain. Yeah. The music... <laughs> and the energy and everything is energy and we're all energy and I love what you said of even if you are feeling bad if you are feeling depressed you take action even if that person will never be back even if the breakup will no revert but you can use that music to reconnect with that energy that never disappears the energy never disappears the energy always conserves you can reconnect with it and transfigurarla, transformarla, transform it, make it into something new. Yeah, it's like if you feel, if you twist your ankle, you take a pill. Well, why don't you sing a song? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, this is, I think this is also revolutionary. 
when you're it, taking that amount of energy that will transform your state arts have that power i mean you are making me think now imagine in the hospitals why are people not singing in the hospitals there, there are people that yeah do that. yeah like Where? therapy there are hmm. because we've done that when we were in the caves <laughs> so yeah. that yeah. memory is here that tell us come on do it again do it again you're not you don't have to be creative you just have to do <laughs> what makes you feel good yeah wow Beautiful. and that creates of course yeah mm -hmm. and silence the importance of silence mm -hmm. I can listen now to the ring bell of a school. <laughs> you think it's so beautiful, you know, I, I love little villages because you can just walk through the streets, stop in between the pebbles and the textured walls, wait. And when there is silence, you can hear what you say now, those little details like the bell that you said that normally we miss we can finally listen things that we miss amongst all the noise typical in life you know only with you i have realized about one thing now in all these podcasts people just talk 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 <laughs> there is so much energy in the silence. Mm. Yeah. Silence is one of the most important elements in composition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and and in life, people people that don't have silence in their lives uh they suffer, they suffer stress, anxiety. And it's about listening, right? We, we can only, only with silence, we can, we can learn also, listen. Yeah, and we are those people because we can always fill in ourselves up with so many things. Mm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Well, uh, I, I, I think that I hope that all the audience after this amazing uh, conversation will will look for little objects in their in their house, in front of them, in the kitchen and their own bodies and start to experiment, to make rhythms, to make music, uh, to communicate with their inner self. Um, and listen to what bounces back, to what comes back, to do that X-ray that you talked about, to use that music to to feel where you are, and 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 then take action, um, and let those actions begin to change your mind and your brain. Yeah, and we need to remember that we need to be nuts. <laughs> yes, that's very important. We, the importance of uh, the importance of being nuts. We should write a book like that. Yeah, this is very important. Um, I always I, I was talking with some friends yesterday about the difference as an adult between being childish and childlike. You know, this is something that Einstein and others talked about. An adult is not good to be childish. That's being immature. That's not good as an adult. But it's good to be childlike, which means as an adult, you preserve your capacity to let yourself go, to see the fresh beauty in all the simple things, to be able to see the world as a stage where you can explore with everything you have around you. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that includes being nuts. That's being nuts. That's what it means. That being nuts. Being nuts means preserving that childlike part of the personality. Right. So let's be nuts, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be. In a responsible <laughs> way. And of course, uh, finding a good balance between all the other analytical part. But yeah, let's, let's, let's be nuts. So a nut for everybody. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> like this <laughs> beautiful thank you so much uh, really uh, lots of lots of hugs to Canary Islands and uh, we'll reconnect with you I'm sure in the future and uh, we invite everybody to connect with your Ministerio de la Escucha to live this beautiful experience thank you like this yeah. till soon <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Oh, Romanino, where are you? Do you copy? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm busy. Reply, I please. cannot go back now, sorry. Let's go, Romanino. And I got something to do. Where have you gone? Uh, I repeat. Well, I uh, just... because... Uh, Come back, um, Romanino. I wanna go beyond I wanna go beyond I wanna go Thank you for following the Beyond podcast. If you enjoy it, subscribe on YouTube and support it in other channels like Patreon and others. And hope to see you soon at the Beyond podcast. Thank you.